We've come to day six, the final day, the day of summary. I hope that you've enjoyed the last five days. You've enjoyed the videos. Some of the videos have been very detailed. They have been detailed deliberately because some of you will want more information than others. But the real idea of splitting those videos up into separate days is to actually give you the opportunity to digest all of that information slowly and sensibly and perhaps even repeatedly. Today is the day that I hope that I'm going to be able to consolidate for you all of that information that you've heard so that you will be in a position where you will know what is the right valve for you. Let's start at the very beginning. The simple division that you need to make within your mind is if you just need an aortic valve replacement for aortic valve stenosis, do you want a permanent solution, a mechanical valve, or do you want to avoid the need for blood thinners that you require with mechanical valves and go for the tissue valve. The tissue valve will though mean that depending upon your age, you might need further treatment. If you're under the age of 50, then a mechanical valve is the better long-term solution for you, both in terms of how long it will last and also the life enhancing benefit that the mechanical valve offers over tissue valve, mainly because of the repeated treatments that you would require. If you are over the age of 70, then a tissue valve is the best option for you because over the age of 70, you really want to avoid warfarin if you can. not Between 50 and 70, then it's really about a lifestyle choice. If you prefer a tissue valve between these age groups, then an Inspris Resilia valve, a tissue valve that seems to show durability four times better than the traditional tissue valves may well be an option for you and you should discuss this with your surgeon or with us if you're under our care. Now, if you are a special circumstance, uh, a young woman who wants to start a family, then the balance between mechanical and tissue valves really are one of warfarin and the risk of warfarin to the baby in the first 12 weeks and the risk of bleeding in the latter part of your pregnancy versus tissue valves and the need for repeated treatments. In that situation, if you prefer a tissue valve, the Resilia valve is the best option for you. It will allow you to consider multiple pregnancies so you can really have the family that you want. And it may well be that you don't need further treatment, but it's likely that you will. The Resilia valve may well last longer than traditional tissue valves and if you've had that operation done through a keyhole then future surgery to replace that valve with a mechanical valve will be relatively straightforward for you. Now if you're really um, older and frailer and you've got other problems like lung problems or kidney problems then TAVI might be the best solution for you. If you've had previous heart surgery and getting to the heart again might be difficult, then TAVI might be the best solution for you. But remember with TAVI, the long-term results are not as good as surgery. So if you are a younger individual, then we may well wish to consider reoperative intervention rather than TAVI um, for you because of a better long-term result. The final thing that you need to remember is if you have a bicuspid aortic valve, and associated enlargement of the ascending aorta, or indeed you've got a trileaflet valve with ascending aortic enlargement, then you need something called an aortic root replacement. You can have that performed with a mechanical valve and the onyx valve seems like the ideal choice. It means after three months, lower dose warfarin with aspirin as an adjunct, or an aortic root replacement with a pig's root called a xenograft root replacement, or a human root uh, called a homograft. I hope that this series has been helpful for you. I'm absolutely certain that once you've seen your doctor or if indeed you've come to see us at the Keyhole Heart Clinic, going through this video series will be really important so that you can consolidate all of the information that you've, you've received and feel that you're in the best position to make the decision that you know and feel is right. For you. Thank you very much for signing up for the video series. I look forward to seeing you again in future videos. There will be a lot of information that we will continue to send to you. It's all absolutely free. Uh, there will be some information about how you prepare for heart surgery, information about how you recover from heart surgery, information about how you remain well 
many years after your heart surgery. So stay tuned. Open the emails that you receive when you receive them. Remember, they're all completely free and they're there for you to feel empowered about your own health.